I am coming to you live from Shibuya, one of the biggest towns, the second last two towns as you're coming from Entebbe. And as you can see the other side, that is Kampala city. So I'm going to be taking you somewhere in an area which I will refer as a slum. It is along the railway, the Uganda railway here in Kampala or parallel to Chibuye, Chibuye market and in Endeavor. So that's why we're going to be walking towards and guys, thank you if you're watching this video. Ivan Atira is my name. Remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notifications. Also, let me know what you think about the video and what you would want to see on this channel. So let's go. And this is Entebbe Road around Shibuya. That is Shell Shibuya. So we are going to be heading towards this side, then later cross from around the other billboard. This is where we are heading. And the railway comes from that side. Of course, the, power, the line is no longer seen currently because there is a lot of moving water which carries soil and it has covered it. When the railway comes, it's upon the railway to clear it for itself. I don't know if that is not dangerous, but that's where we are going. You can clearly see the road continues to enter and then it branches off to Monyonyo. That is the Salama Road. And around here, Chibuye. So we are heading towards there where the crossing point is. Then we can cross from there. Like you already know that you have two grasshopper seasons and what is common on the streets between November and December it's always grasshoppers. So if you see them, don't be shocked. It is the season. And this season has the most grasshoppers. So we are going to be crossing from around here. This is where the crossing point is. And the other side is where I've come from. So we are going to wait until it is safe to do so. Doesn't seem safe. We can go here. Not yet safe again, and we are also going to go from here. So around here, it is the Chibuye market, and the Chibuye market runs across the railway. So we are going to be going through the market, but we are following the railway line. Let's pass here. So this is where it starts from. This is the market, but our target, I've told you, is where the people that earn less. Still, so we're going to go through those areas. I'll be telling you the reason as to why it happens like that. The reason is one. The land around this so-called the layer is always free. That's why people occupy it and they want to use it because it's public land government land so they always set up structures that are temporary such that they can be there because they are homeless so they don't pay rent to anyone and you'll be also i'm going to be showing you that there are no electric poles that distribute like the final electricity to the to the final consumers. No, they are not there. I don't really know why it's like that. Maybe because it's not planned. If it was like that, they would have put them there, meaning it's not right to use it like that. Wow, it's so tense. I've always made videos from the city, the streets, but the way people are looking at me here scares me. Let's go into the area. Just in case of anything, I am ready. I know there are people, there are a lot of people. Let's go see what this experience brings.
it's either we shall see this video on the channel if not we shall not see it otherwise the target is to see it on the channel if it is deleted you won't reach this end if it is not deleted you will have to see it so around here it's still the market and it's ending the other side so here different people that do wood products doors beds but mostly it is beds and other woods can be gotten from around here and remember to like the video drop a comment if you have any memories with the with the area all let me know what you think if you're not giving me your thoughts you can as well those are grasshoppers you can as well let me know which other thing or area you would want to see on the channel so people at this time remember it's a, a sunday evening people at this time are always chilling there are those that work from sunday to sunday some people don't notice it is a, a sunday or a saturday monday or what no people are working every day but what beats me is that the money doesn't come they are they're trying to make the money but the money doesn't like it's hard to make the money and buy whatever you want no it's very hard i don't know why it's always like that but people are trying and according to to the world bank yeah uganda is well is the most entrepreneurial country yes a lot of businesses come out a lot of people want to set up businesses and they please they do but what happens is one the businesses don't survive they don't succeed it's either because of too much taxes or it is because they don't plan them well businesses end up collapsing and when they collapse people have not gained the government also doesn't so we are the most entrepreneurial country but the businesses that are created they end up not succeeding so i don't know what leaders are thinking about that or they just see these reports and then leave them there by the way i want to remind you it's the Leire line i have done videos of the reconstruction what can i call it construction because the upgrading the upgrade of this layer so the layer currently is stationed it's not moving they are doing some upgrades so when it is set free it will be also reaching this side or if it also this side is worked upon they haven't worked upon this side so it is the one and this is how it looks like these are the areas that neighbor the layer line and towards this side there is the Neva station. I think we shall be peeping there. Let me know what you think of this area. Drop a comment. Drop a like for this video as well. Because man, it is kind of risky going through these areas. Those are grasshoppers also. Those ones are, are steamed and you just take off the the feathers as you're eating we have so many areas that are supposed to be showed but for me i decided to bring you this today and yeah these are tires they are people that work on them and they they take parts out others are used to make shoes shoe soles others are used to make like they're taken back we have a lot of tire making plants or companies or companies that retreat like if a, a tire is worn out, they cut it like this and then put what do what they call retreating and it's like a new one. But those ones are not advisable. So they are taken and then that is what happens. So guys around here, we are in Endeavor. This is currently Endeavor and we are going to cross. It is also a market different from the first one. I told you in the Leire videos, you can go back if you haven't seen them, have them, they are in a different playlist. I told you guys that these areas 
have a lot of markets. The areas along the Leire, they have a lot of markets. And I ended up counting like four markets. So, so far here, it is two markets that we have, that we have seen or oh, that we are going to walk along. There are only two. So, I also gave you what the reasons I think why these this markets exist. Which is because these markets or oh, the land along these markets are free. The land is always free. Why is it free? It is like I want to say it is just the reserve. It's supposed to be the reserve. So in its redundancy, that's why people jump on it and then make use of it. And in the process, getting them off at times becomes harder. And yeah, they can't easily be taken off. Because when someone occupies land in Uganda, when someone occupies land for more than... Is it 20 years? 10 to 20. I think it is supposed to be 20. The land becomes okay. To get off the land, that's supposed to be they're supposed to be paid, like they're supposed to be to be given some money, go find somewhere and then start new life there. Of course, when the people are coming, I don't know why the authorities just look at them. They just not have to look at them. They have to at least take action. Because these people start one by one. Then one by one brings two. Two becomes four. Like that. It becomes six. In a blink of an eye, it's a whole village. And when people come together, it's hard to take action against them. Of course, you will. But they will also always come out and shout at you so it rained yesterday that's why this area is a little bit messy and that's why it looks like this and we shall go like this of course it is already evening it is 4 p.m what you hear is people playing ludo in the background and of course i don't have permission to film them and that's not what i was targeting today maybe another time and i don't want to cause myself trouble one day i was filming around this area you know what happened to me the guys just grabbed me in a blink of an eye i had lost everything i didn't have my i didn't have my wallet i didn't have the man i had my bag was taken how they opened it everything was taken i also have had two phones also the phones they were taken and in returning everything was i talked to these guys even my power bank they took it it's not three months from the time i was got it's not three months yet so they took everything and when they took everything on returning them after negotiations things came were brought by different people and they all had them i gave them twenty thousand, and that's how the negotiations went 20,000 so that's why I don't want to film anyone I'm focusing on at least we're in a wider angle I'm focusing on to what is for me that is what I'm focusing on too so we are some good meters away from the station so I call it station aha uh -huh. So this water, this one, comes from the Kabakas Lake. And this is one, in fact, it is the one and only outlet of the Kabakas Lake. It brings it towards this side. Don't know anything about the, the lake? You need to look for it. Of course, I had that video, it is one of the videos, the first three videos that I made on this channel. Unfortunately, it got a strike or a copyright claim and 
I had to put it down. But I'm trying, I'm going to be bringing another one. And I think it will be one of the brief videos that I'll, I'll make. Yeah, it is a man-made lake and it is in Uganda. For the people that don't know, it is in Uganda. So that is plastic. A lot of companies are collecting plastic and then and then recycling it. That is the way to go. We need this traffic recycled. Sorry, the plastic recycled. Because more companies, what I found out is that more companies are releasing plastic or producing plastic. But the work, but the recycling works are few. I don't know why. I think the government should also enforce that. Like, people bringing in raw materials for making plastic should at least be regulated such that they put in more effort onto bringing or into reusing what they have recycling what they have of course it doesn't easily plastic doesn't easily break down so that's what they need to do reuse so yeah, just jumping around nothing to do so here I'm going to stop filming but that side that is the station and the other ones are the house units of the of the personnel of the army men that protect this area and it would be invading their privacy to film from around here and of course if you're goat treason is one of the is one of the charges they would slap onto you. I don't really know, but I think it is one of the of those charges. Also, Computer Misuse Act. Also, we are invading privacy. So let me cross from around here. That is still the layer around here. So at this point, the layer is entering the station but also it has chance um i'm forgetting the i'm forgetting the industrial area in the other side but this one continues up to the industrial park it's supposed to be a park that side of course it was active in those days currently not active I think I should continue like this. One of the water sources around here. Water, 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 water. That's how clean it is. Not so clean. Around here there is some brick laying that goes on. These people buy soil, like for people that are uh, working on their compounds, if they have soil that they, they don't need, these people would buy it, then bring it here, prepare it, put in some water, mix it for some days, cover it like that one, and then later it is used to make bricks. So necessarily these people don't these people don't do what they don't dig up around here no they just buy this soil if it has a lot of stones they will always take time and pick out the stones because they disturb them while making the bricks and the trees that either fall or that they are cutting in compounds that are used to burn the bricks because you can't just use the bricks like that you need to burn them such that they can become a little bit harder. So they cover the the what the the soil after putting some water. It's like letting it to ferment, and in that process it becomes sticky. And that's how they want it because when it is sticky, it easily stays together after it is shaped into bricks so that is how the bricks look like after after burning them 
and that's what they need. So I think they are counting them here, waiting for the potential buyer. And people are just up there working. <laughs> there is even a, a young guy, I think he's around, if not seven, I think he's eight, but I don't think he's beyond that age. So that is the workshop of the Leire. Just in case of anything, I think it used to come inside there and they work on it. So I think the area is done. We are ending here the video. Remember to like the video, drop a comment, and any other place you would want to see on the channel, drop it in the comment section. I will also be responding to you. Come out. Bye-bye.